In my 20 years of driving used cars, I've always had to make some type of modification to the vehicle to get it to work with my phone or to get it to work with the latest audio entertainment, whether it be adding a CD player, adding a auxiliary port so that I could plug in my phone, or even using a tape deck to be able to play my phone. I've always had to do that. So this last year I thought, hey, if I buy a brand new car, it's gonna solve all my problems in the car. Well, last year we bought this 2021 Honda Odyssey and it did not solve every problem. Now, one of the cool things that this car has is Android Auto. So I am able to take my phone out and still plug it in to a USB port here, USB-C, and then it will display Android Auto on my screen and I can navigate and everything. Um, but still, it's kind of annoying to come into the car plug this in and then operate the phone off of the screen. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can do this wirelessly. Now, when I bought this car, I should have done a bit more research. Now, I knew it had Android Auto, but there are specific models of cars that have Android Auto wireless, meaning you can just come into the car, it will automatically connect Android Auto to the system and you don't have to do anything. But this car does not support that new standard. You are still required to use a cable. Well, today, thanks to AutoCast, we're going to test out a new device that allows us to convert our system to an Android Auto wireless system, which is pretty cool. So first I wanna give a big thank you to AutoCast. I did reach out to them to test out this product and they sent it for this review. Now the cool thing about this is it is also a two-in-one wireless adapter. So this will allow you to use Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay. So. I'll see if I can test both of those out. Inside the box, there we have the AutoCast device. So on one side, it has a USB-A, and then on the other side, it does have USB-C, and that's pretty much it. There's some lights inside, but then in here, we have the manual. So here, this walks us through how we can get this set up with our car. Now, you do need to have an existing Apple CarPlay or Android Auto system. This does not add those to your car. So make sure you have that before you purchase this product. And then here it talks a little bit more about how this can be used. And here inside the box, it then comes with the USB-A to USB-C, which we'll use for our car. Um, but if you had a USB-C in your car, it does come with that as well. So now the first thing we're going to do is locate the USB drive that connects to Android Auto. And mine is down here, so we're going to remove this old cable, and then I'm going to plug this in. And now we're going to plug this in to this end, into the car, and now we're gonna turn on the car. Now, one thing you need to do before you try to connect over wireless is plug it into your existing Android Auto system, and then go into the settings on your phone and allow for a wireless connection. Then once you do that, then you can try it wirelessly. So first to connect to Android Auto, I'm going to open up my phone here and we're going to go and connect to the Bluetooth connection. We're gonna create a new device here and we're gonna to connect to, this is the Auto 7470. That is the AutoCast device. And when it is on, it will show a red there. Now it's asking if I allow access for this to access my phone, so yes. We're gonna tap pair. It's now connecting. All right, we now have an active connection. And then if everything is working right, it will then pop up on the screen with this prompt. You click OK and then it will load Android Auto. Now getting it to work, I did have to do all kinds of updates. So hopefully the final version will be ready to go. But now let's fast forward to after I have it working. So I've been using the AutoCast device for about a month now. So let me show you the experience that you have with it. At first there were a few hiccups getting it updated, but now we are ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead. I have the AutoCast device right here plugged in to the Android Auto or CarPlay port on the car. And then here I have my phone not plugged into anything. Let's go ahead and turn on the car. Once it turns on, it does take about a minute or so for it to fully boot up and connect. So when it loads up, it does give this prompt that it is connected over Apple CarPlay. So it uses Android Auto through Apple CarPlay, which is kind of interesting, but it does this pop up every time I 
can't get it to go away unless you press OK. So now Android Auto is ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead, go home. You can see that everything is working. Again, my phone is wireless connected, so it is not plugged in. And you can see everything works pretty great. I can go into my music and I can look up my library, playlists. Let's play some music. There you go, music works no problem. And if I wanna skip a song, I can simply press left, skip a song. And let's go ahead and take it for a spin. So far, so good. Everything is working great, just like normal Android Auto. So one cool thing is actually when I come into the car and it reconnects, whatever music I was listening to before, that will automatically start playing, which is really nice. And then it works with my YouTube music. I can go to the Audible app, super easy, and play that as well. Google Maps navigation works and everything is great because it's wireless and Android Auto in the car, super great. Now let's talk about a few things that are not quite as great just because of working with the AutoCast device in Android Auto. Now the first thing that doesn't work is if I am listening to music, so let's jump back in here. So if I am listening to music on YouTube Music, hit play, and I want to switch the song, usually I'm using my steering wheel to switch that. So here I push the steering wheel, and over here on the car, it is showing that I'm pushing next, but it is not switching to the next song. And that's because for whatever reason, those controls aren't compatible through the wireless uh, AutoCast. So if I do need to change the song, I simply have to touch the next button here on Android Auto. So on my car, if I go there and go to Android Auto, it says nothing is even connected. So it doesn't fully integrate with the car. Now let's say I want to use voice commands or I want to use Google Assistant. So here on my steering wheel, I would push the Google Assistant button. Navigate home. And when I do any voice command, it is not able to understand what I have said. Here you can see that it pops up the prompt to do Google Assistant, but it never actually is able to do that command. Let's try here on the screen. Navigate home. So while connected through the AutoCast, no Google Assistant compatibility will work. Let's go ahead and try a phone call. All right, so with the Google Assistant not working, I'm not able to send calls or call somebody with Voice Assistant. I do have the option to go into the phone app and I can make a call or I can actually receive calls and answer them through Android Auto. So this works, which is really great. All right, here we have an incoming call. Just tap to answer. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. How do I sound? It yeah, it's working. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce who? Let us in, it's cold out here. So, so that's a phone call. It sounded great on my end. The music automatically paused. I was able to do the phone call and he could hear me mostly. Uh, we're gonna do a, a speaker test from his end in just a second. And then I was able to hear him great. All right, so this is how I sound while I am in my van using Android Auto over the AutoCast device. And here I am actually driving right now, so you may hear some background noise, but this is what you could expect for the person on the other end, um, what you would sound like to the person on the other end. Another issue we have had just with this car is because we have the DVD player and Android Auto, it seems like there's always problems when I'm trying to do both at the same time. So let's go ahead and play a DVD and see what happens. All right, so here we're going to put in a DVD. My music stopped. Now, I don't think this entertainment issue is an AutoCast issue. It's more of an Android Auto with an entertainment system that was, doesn't work really great. So here we are playing a movie. Um, you can hear the movie is getting started right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Android Auto 
and it's telling me nothing is connected. Um, sometimes it will just randomly connect and then all of a sudden it takes over the movie and then it plays my music full blast. So there is a bit of an issue there. So you gotta choose entertainment or Android Auto, which is a bummer. All right, okay, I unplugged the AutoCast device, plugged it back in, here it connected, and we are back to working, but we still hear, right now we're still hearing the DVD, if I push play here. Uh, we're hearing Android Auto. So that actually did work. So she is watching Wally in the back with her headphones, and I was able to connect back to Android Auto. I'm playing my music over the sound system and everything is working like it should. So that's great news. Let's go ahead and do some navigation. So let's say I wanna search and I want to go to Dairy Queen. All right, Dairy Queen. And let's go ahead, right there, five minutes away. Let's navigate. So navigation worked great. I was able to uh, find a place I wanted right from Android Auto without using Google Assistant. So I'm very impressed that I have all of that functionality and the wireless Android Auto. Now the last thing is because you're using wireless Android Auto, it doesn't charge the phone while you are doing this. So you may need to plug your phone in somewhere else if you are on a long drive or something like that. But for quick stops, it's really nice that I do not have to plug in my phone every time to get Android Auto activated. Now, after using the Android Auto portion for a full month, um, I did have one or two times where it just wouldn't connect, so I simply unplugged the AutoCast device, plugged it back in, and then it seemed to work great. Um, the other issue I've had, which is very rare, sometimes when I'm listening to music, it just maybe doesn't have a good network connection or something, so there's a little glitch there, but it comes right back on. But overall, I would say it's a great, Android Auto experience, just wish it did have that Google Assistant as well as the uh, controls from the steering wheel. Now texting and everything else works fine. I'll be able to hear the text, but I won't be able to respond to that text here. We just did receive an audio clip, so I can actually click on our text message and there. I could actually share that over text. That is impressive. The message also contains an audio attachment. Do you want to reply? No. So there, it can't hear my response. If I tap reply. Okay, what's the message? Oh, that's really cool. Try again. So it just can't hear me over Android Auto. So I think that's really cool that I still have all those functionalities. I just can't respond to those messages. So now that we've tried Android Auto, let's go ahead and try Apple CarPlay. So here on the iPhone, I just need to go into the settings and then I need to go into Bluetooth. And here I should see auto 7470 pop up. All right, then we get the prompt to pair and we're going to allow it to sync our device. We are now connected. There I tapped on the auto device again and here it loads Apple CarPlay. Now my phone that I'm using right now doesn't have service so it might not work. We'll see. And here we're getting a prompt to use CarPlay. <laughs> and there we go, that is Apple CarPlay. And so everything would work just like you're used to an Apple CarPlay. Now, even though I was able to get Apple CarPlay to work here today, I don't have a SIM card in my iPhone, so I'm not able to show you all the features. Now, I was able to let my brother use the AutoCast device for a few weeks. He's using one of the latest iPhones and everything is working great for him. He said he was able to get Siri to work and his music would automatically play and everything worked really flawlessly. And he is even using an aftermarket Apple CarPlay um, device. So he didn't have um, one that came with the car. He added one to his older car and everything worked great. So it's really good to hear that the AutoCast device is working with both um, operating systems and slightly even better on an iPhone, which I guess is a good thing if you have an iPhone. Now I was able to get the AutoCast device to work if you do have multiple devices. So here on my wife's phone, it was able to show up in the Bluetooth settings when my phone wasn't connected. So then I could simply click on it, 
pair it up and then her phone would work. And then the next time I come in the car, if I wanna use it, I need to go back into the Bluetooth settings, select Bluetooth, and then it will work with my phone. There is a bit of button pushing you'll need to do each time to get it working with your phone. So if you have any further questions about the AutoCast device, please let me know in the comments below. And if you are interested in checking one out, I will have a discount code in the description where you can pick one up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.